Hey everyone and welcome to my channel or welcome back if you are a returning viewer. So today we are in Create a Sim and I am making a family with the brand new expansion pack Love Struck and I absolutely love the cast that came with this new expansion pack. There are some items that I do not love. <laughs> There are a few items that I, I do not like at all, but for the most part, I think a lot of the items are like really, really good. I love the hairs that came in the pack and I love most of the clothing for the women and I love a lot of the clothing for the men too. And I do have to say when I was making this family, I, I seen that there was a lot of a lot more clothing for the males. I mean, usually they really skip out on the males and they don't have a lot of clothing at all for the male sims and the masculine frame sims, but they finally added a lot more in this pack and so I was quite happy about that. And so, yeah, let's get into the family a little bit. So this is the Aguilar family. This family consists of a mother and a father, a teen girl, a child girl a toddler boy and then the mother of the house her little brother just moved in as well now her and her little brother have been estranged from each other for quite a while now so they have not seen each other actually since their parents passed away several years ago when valentina met her now husband alejandro her brother Gabriel did not like Alejandro whatsoever. He thought he just was not good enough for his older sister, Valentina. But Valentina did not listen. It did not matter what Gabriel or anyone had to say. She was head over heels in love with Alejandro. And she still is, but their relationship is quite on the rocky side. And so she has had some doubts every once in a while of her choices of marrying Alejandro but for the most part she she really does love him dearly and they they don't have any plans of getting a divorce or anything they do want to work on their relationship they think they found the answer and that is to have an open relationship now I know there are a lot of opinions on open relationship I for one, would never be able to do that. I am far, far too jealous for that. I want my significant other to myself, and rightfully so. I mean, a lot of people feel that way, but I. it seems that open relationships do work out for some people. And so Alejandro and Valentino want to try that out. And so both of their aspirations are Paragon lovers, or what is that? Okay, I stand corrected. It is Paragon Partners, and it is only Alejandro that actually has that aspiration. Valentina here, she does have the serial romantic aspiration. And so they still love each other. They still want to be with each other. They have three children together, but they just feel like they are, they're needing more out of the relationship that neither of them can give each other. And so they think the answer is to have an open relationship. And so they are going to try that out. That might make for some interesting drama. It definitely depends on how you set up their, their romance uh, system. You can have it to where they do get jealous for their romantic partners to be romantic, romantically involved with other Sims. Or you can make it to where they are not jealous at all. And I do believe that I made it that neither of these Sims are jealous. So there might not be too much drama here between these two. If you guys want to download this family and you want more drama, then you could totally change that and make it to where they are jealous. So I think that would be quite fun. <laughs> um, it would make for interesting gameplay. But as you can see, I do have Alejandro and Valentina for the most part made up to where I want them to be but after starting on uh, Valentina I realized I didn't even finish Alejandro's clothing <laughs> and so here I am back with Alejandro and we are adding different outfits for him and I'm going through and looking at all of these different costumes in the new expansion pack and I think it is so funny I ended up putting each of the pajamas 
different costumes. So there's one where it's like, that's his sleepwear. Like that is what he sleeps in. And then the rest is like a lot of costumes. And so that's like, that's so fun. I can't wait to try all of those costumes out. And I think it came with like a new dance. I mean, the dance looks so goofy guys. It's definitely not a sexy dance, okay? I cannot imagine anyone in real life doing a dance like that. I would just crack up. Like they would be trying to be serious dancing like that and I'd be laughing. I'm like, okay. Um, you're, you're doing nothing but entertaining me. <laughs> okay. You're, you're just making me laugh, but, um, it, it's fun nonetheless. Like this is a quirky game. And so having quirky things like that is, is quite fun. But, uh, so a little bit about Alejandro before I get more deep into the storyline. So his traits are self-assured, romantic, and loyal. So the loyalty comes in as, you know, him and Valentina might not be 100% happy with each other and they might want to explore different romantic options, but they are both very, very loyal. And so, yeah, they will stick it out until the end or if they cannot stick it out any longer. They just totally despise each other, but I don't really see that happening. They get along great for the most part. <laughs> they are unpredictable, so keep that in mind. But uh, his aspiration, like I was saying, is Paragon partner, and then his like are physical intimacy, flirting, the romance skill, the color red, romance music, romance enthusiasts, fitness, and spirited Sims. His dislikes are pessimistic Sims, cooking, and complaining. So don't do any complaining to Alejandro. He just cannot stand that. And his turn-ons, so the fun ones, these are the new ones. The turn-ons are clean Sims, he loves to woohoo, blondes, brunettes, interpersonal, black clothing, red clothing, costumes. He loves when Sims are performers and he loves spirited Sims. His turn-offs are gray hair, slacker Sims, argumentative Sims. Those are his three turnoffs. So he has a wide range of likes and he does not like very much. So that's, that's a plus. And his career is the investor and the business career. So he definitely has quite a bit of money. This is a quite wealthy family. They live in one of the biggest houses in Suidad and Emirata. And so I actually, built the house for this family and I posted that on Monday this week and so if you're interested in seeing that then take a look at my channel and go over to that video and watch the speed build maybe give it a like and give this video a like as well if you're enjoying it it definitely would help me out and it would push my videos to other simmers just like you so it definitely I would appreciate it and also if you have not already definitely subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying my videos. I make a lot of different videos. I cover different um, different things. I do speed builds. I do create a sim videos. I've tried the whole let's play thing. It doesn't really work out for me. So I don't do a lot of that, but I do a lot of speed builds and create a sim videos. And as you guys can see, my create a sim videos are pretty detailed. Like I go into a deep story when it involves the sims that I create and post on my gallery and post here on YouTube for you guys. So if you are into that sort of thing, the whole storyline and watching me build the sims, then definitely subscribe and stay around for a while. We would love to have you here and comment down below what your favorite part of the video is and comment down below what your favorite part of the new expansion pack love struck is i'm very interested to see your guys's opinion on this and i will be looking forward to reading those comments so we are already on to the brother and the family but before i get into his likes and dislikes i just want to go over valentina's likes and dislikes so her career, she is a matchmaker in the romance consultant career. Her traits are love bug, romantic, and outgoing. Her aspiration is a serial romantic. And her likes are flirting, romance skill, the color red, gossip, romance music, romance enthusiasts, spirited sims, mixology, and hardworking sims. And also affection. And her dislikes are video games, the color yellow, egotistical sims, malicious interactions, alternative music, and her turn-ons are woohooing, clean sims, wealthy sims, healthy sims, blonde hair, 
gift giving and she likes gray hair as well. She loves red clothing, polished sims, costumes, spirited sims, and she loves to flirt as well. And her turnoffs are hot pink hair, egotistical sims, broke sims, and rocker sims. So if you're a broke rocker, she is not going to be interested in you at all. Okay, now let's go ahead and go over Gabriel's traits and a little bit about him. So he did just get dumped by his longtime girlfriend. <laughs> she just kicked him to the curb, no really particular reason, although he suspects that she did fall in love with somebody else and that there is another Sam in the picture. His ex just totally just disappeared one day. Well, she didn't disappear. She kicked him out of the house and he had nowhere to go and he had to call his estranged sister that he has not spoke to in years. And so now he is living on a mattress on the floor with no bed sheet in his sister's house. So he pretty much, it's safe to say he's starting from the bottom again <laughs> and working his way to the top. So his job is in the tech guru career. Can't remember which one. I think it's just like level two or three. And then his traits are romantically reserved, music lover, and goofball. So he does not like PDA or anything like that. He He's quite shy when it comes to meeting a romantic partner. And so that is part of the reason why it's so devastating that his girlfriend broke up with him. But he is looking to hopefully start a Cupid's Corner profile relatively soon. And his aspiration is soulmate. So he really wants to find the one. And his likes are the color black, funny sims, alternative music, deep thoughts, jokes, guitar, and video gaming. And his dislikes are egotistical sims, deception, fishing, romance music, and the color green. His turn-ons are idealist sims, affection, black clothes, hot pink hair, purple pastel hair, basics, auburn hair, academic, arts and crafts, rocker, and red hair. And his turnoffs are green clothes, egotistical sims, drink making, and green hair. So he, he really likes when his romantic partner explores different hairstyles and hair colors, as long as it's not the color green. Everything else he's pretty okay with. Okay guys, and now we are on to the teen daughter of Valentina and Alejandro, and her name is Araceli, and she is a romantic explorer, that is her aspiration. Her traits are love bug and athletic, and her likes are the color pink, physical intimacy, flirtation, romantic skill, the color white, hip hop music, spirited sims, and video gaming. And her dislikes are ambitionless sims, small talk, metal music, the color brown, and handiness. And her turn-ons are clean sims, physical intimacy, interpersonal, funny, performer, white clothing, blue clothing, gift giving, spirited sims, and brown hair. And her turn-offs are pessimistic sims, gray hair, broke sims, and taken sims. And I just have to point out that I absolutely love the dress that Araceli is wearing. I think it is so pretty. It's got like the little peaches on there, you know, the little peach emoji that uh, we all know what that reference is. Um, that is what is on the dress and I think it's so cute. And I put Araceli's hair in a bun and then I noticed that the children Sims don't have any other hair besides what the parents have and the adult Sims. And so I wanted to put Araceli with the longer hair that's down and I put the bun on her little sister. And her little sister's name is Amelia. Her trait is outgoing. Her aspiration is social butterfly and her likes are funny Sims, the color pink, tween pop music and affection. And they have a little brother whose name is Valentino and there is not much to say about Valentino. He's just a little charmer. That is his little toddler trait. All right, everyone. Well, that is all I have for you all today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and I will continue making family videos just like this one. I hope you all have an amazing day or night and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.